and then well, that's just unbelievable. I truly had that kind of thought. And kudos as we mentioned as well to uh, Mackey for getting that done in time as well. So Flyers won the opening tap there in the green uniforms. Colgate wearing the home white if you tonight with maroon minerals and maroon lettering. Flyers with the basketball. Basket to our right is Ron. The right top of the key of the ball is Levante Hinton. Man of man defense for Colgate to start the game. Pass off the left wing now for Josh Fortune. Fortune reads the back of the right. Goes back off left for Cotton. Cotton feeds bats in the post. Gets it back out to Hinton. Goes right back to bats in the left post. Out to Cotton with six to shoot. Cotton dribbles to his left. 17 footer off the front rim. Rebound underneath the Kofani. Back out to Hinton for three. That was up the side of the rim. And underneath the rebound belongs to Brandenburg. Good defense by Colgate. Fires did a nice job of passing the ball. That's long seven or eight passes, but just couldn't make a shot. Colgate. Basket to our left here in the opening half. Flyers in a 2 3 zone defensively to open up the game. The ball is Pat Moore. Dribbles down the left side in front of Fry Bench. Up high to the right side of the mid Down in the right corner, jumper up and jumper in. A three pointer is good for Bartowski. So you mentioned it 38% from three point line. Ed likes to take away the three point shot, but the first one that they make is a knockdown three pointer by Colgate. Murphy Bartowski, the leading scorer, 43% outside the arc. It's the first one tonight that he takes. And Colgate out early. Doing the circles with the ball, driving to the left side is Bryce Cotton. Cotton now works it back to the right side, gets around his defender in the right corner. For him, comes to the right side, and an offensive foul is called on him. Bernard Towski came over and got in front of him to take the charge. So Bernard Towski guessed that, you know, the Dante left hand doesn't go right much, so he goes, anticipates very well, takes the flop, picks up the foul. There's just some 1 2 2 pressure in the backcourt, and they it with Luke Rowe. Rowe. The rolls back to roll again. Bernatowski works left, jump step in the line, picks it off to the right side, top of the key, pass comes left to rolls. He gets off the deep three, and it's good. And Mitch rolls, it's a three, and then Cooley takes a quick timeout. Colgate has hit their first two shots of the ball game, both of them three pointers, and they've got a quick six nothing lead. And I think most Warrior fans are aware that usually when you play your first game out from semester exam break, there's a little rust you have to shake off. Well, Colgate's had the same rust too, John. They haven't played 10 days as well, but, you know, that first two looks are three pointers, and that's something Ed Cooley sees pride themselves on, and taking away the three and making you take tough twos. The last three teams that played against the Friars are six for 60 from three point land. And now they're getting to come out in, the first two guys that take that three point and knock it down. So they've had some open looks. The Friars have to get out there and make them put it on the floor. Yeah, how about that? Last two opponents, as you just said, six for 60. From three-point range, 10%, and yet Kobe hits their first two shots from three. So it's an early 6 nothing lead, and top of the key of the basketball is Bats who goes up with a deep jumper miss, but Kofani gets the offensive rebound again and scoops it back out to Cotton on the left wing. There's the two offensive rebounds, so it's hard getting on the glass. Right side, Cotton goes top of the key for Kofani, and throws so the ball over the head of uh, Bats, but the ball goes out of bounds off the hand of Brandenburg, good holds, but first get a gift here. You don't want the uh, fun entering his pass on the top of the key. <laughs> Baseline left. Out the cotton for three left corner. Bounces and it would stay. Gets the shoes roll. Hit the back of the rim. Just dead in the shot. Knocks it down. So Cotton gets the first pass of the game. at 6 three Pass into the post. Brandon Burke. Top of the key. Bernatowski. Another three. That one rattles the rim. Comes out. And a rebound for him. But they got an open walk. Cotton in a hurry. At the right side of the floor. Down the Colgate bench. Top of the key they find. Bats and you hear the applause because you've got Chris Dunn about to make his debut. Top of the key for him, leaves it there for Cotton. Cotton looks left, dumps it off. Top of the key, pass down low from Profani in the back, up and under the left hand, and score. Good move there by the D, using the left and right. You know, now you got the ball, get the ball inside, and everybody's anticipating Dunn coming in the ball game. 6 5, jumper left side, three pointer again, it bounces and stays for Pat Moore. It's the back of the rim, goes straight up in the end, knocks it down. The Pat Moore, a 48% three-point shooter, gives Colgate a 9-5 lead. They've already buried three threes here in the opening few minutes. Think about that number down, 48% from anywhere is pretty good. Here's Hinton for three from the right wing, this is everything. Long rebound, though, gets out the top and out of the wing. Colgate is not a good offensive rebounding team, but that should help Providence. And now what we have? Well, we set the shot clock and hit the rubber stop, we didn't hit the rim at all. So they don't need to they can put it back at 19. And here comes Chris Dunn into the game, and he's going to replace Bruce Kofani. So the fire, McDonald's All-American from New London, Connecticut. 
sees his first time as a Browns college flyer. He comes in the game to run the point guard spot. Don to the right side of the fortune. Don between the circles goes left for Cotton, who moves to the two guard. The ball gets picked out of bounds in the left wing. And they're going to put 15 seconds back on the shot clock for the front. The program leader goes to a 2-3 zone, but that's 19 seconds on the shot clock. It's like they're back to man-to-man -man now. And Doss comes to bat, three to line, drives right, goes into the running jump hook, misses everything. Done with the rebound, fall on the score! Yeah, Penny, welcome to Providence, great on. He's taking long, he hit a score, gets a big offensive rebound right there, and finishes it off. Nine, seven Raiders, driving right, Bartowski, hard to the hoop, stops short of the baseline. Now picks the ball back outside for Moore. Moore penetrates, throws up the runner, scores, run it out. Offensive foul is Carl and Moore. There's that the Dean Bats again, doing what he does very well. He's leading the team and taking offensive fouls. Anticipates very well. Picks up an offensive foul there. So Moore picks up his first team first. Friars now have the ball. Chance to tie a the lead here just about four minutes deep into the game. As Colgate hit three of their first four shots from the floor. Right hands off for him. Circles back of the left. And Actually blocked and Colgate with the rebound. Up the floor now for Rowe. Rowe stops to Rhodes. Out top of the Bartowski for three. That's good again. Another timeout. So Bartowski's hit two threes and here's another 30 second timeout for Red Pool in the fires as Colgate has a 12 7 lead and they are raining threes right now. Well, it's not happy. He's taking, uh, I think he's taking Levante Hen out of ball game. Put Speaky Johnson in for his first uh, playing time minutes here at Providence College. But the Friars aren't doing a very good job of taking away the three. Colgate's four for five in the game. All three pointers. I mean, well, we knew probably you mentioned that already, John. They shoot 38 percent from three pointers. Like, this is the best three point shooting team the Friars have faced this year. And obviously, they're knocking them down, but they're getting wide open looks. The defense is not very good. You got to get out and challenge those shooters. They average making eight and a half threes per game in the first ten games this year, so they shoot at point. But you're right; these are unchallenged three for the most part. So Siddiqui Johnson now in Andy Wars jersey number five for the Flyers. Dunn over three. And Dunn brings the ball into the fourth floor. Works around the screen left side. Goes to the open 16 footer. Off the window. No bats offensive put back in the score. Job by the D. Getting on the glass. A good box out by Johnson that time. A lot of uh, bats to get in the open lane and get an easy layup. Flyers go with some 2 on 2 pressure in the backcourt. They break it to the right side for Natowski. And with the ball on the right wing, they find Pat Moore. Back to Moore, a nuisance press down, takes a time off the clock. Moore on the wing, feeds the post, up on the high post to Brandenburg, gives the ball back underneath, wide open, underneath the basket, Luke Rowe for a deal. Well, it seemed like he pushed off Cotton there, and there was no foul. Cotton just couldn't get his balance back, and Rowe lines up like easy basket. First point for the 6'4 sophomore Rowe. And it's 14 to 9. Here's Johnson open up the free throw line. He's going to take the jumper and he scores. The first shot is for our career. So Zeke Johnson will lose. Good pass here by Gunn. Getting it over to him on the double team. So Johnson, the 6 foot 10 sophomore from Harlem, gets the basket on the right corner. Feeds into the post for Rowe. Rowe tries to run. Gets it rejected by Fortune. And the Flyers come over the loose ball. Off the floor for Dunn. Dunn kicks off right wing for Cotton for three. Off the back iron. Back offensive rebound. Bats kicks the ball out for Fortune. Deep three on the left side, good. Well, the side's going to lock it both Fortune and Cotton getting those open looks now. We're done with the ball. Oh, just have to spot up and open airs. The three point airs knock down the shots. And that ties the score at 14 for the first time with 14 14 to play in the first half on the right side. With a basket all the top of the key. Now feeding into the post of Brandenburg. Devil team. Finds Rowe on the right wing back to Brandenburg. Goes up nice. under on Johnson. Puts it up. Missed the shot around the rim. And Johnson gets the rebound. We moved it over by Brandenburg. Fires on a 7-0 run, grabbed their first lead of the game. Almost a steal on the wing by Dunn. Penetrating right side, jumper up by Moore, no good rebound. Bats tips it to Fortune. Now Fortune brings it back to the other way. Two hour right, leaves it off to Cotton. Cotton has it out between the circles. Man to man defense for Colgate as they start the ball game. Cotton works to the right side. Screen is set, cuts back to the left. They come off on the screen. Picks the ball back out to Fortune for a catch and shoot. Green hits it again. Well, they set the screen. They set that up for Fortune. He made the first shot. And Cooley wants to get another one over the screen by Bats. Comes off, hits it, juice. 
1914, the Flyers on a 10 nothing run. On the right wing, the ball Mitch Rolls. Rolls works off the screen. Flyers double on that screen, picks it back to Moore. Now on the left wing for Rowe. Rowe hangs out the ball, brings it to the back of the center, works on Fortune on the left side. Bertowski has a deep three, that was too strong, and there's a rebound for Johnson. Flyers will absolutely murder Colgate on the boards tonight. Fortune again for three. That was off the back iron. There's a rebound for Rolls. That was a heat check right there. That's a quick one. Deep one with under pressure. Mitch Rolls with the ball into the four court. Stops his dribble. On the right wing. Quick three is up again. Bartowski missed the shot. Loose ball goes right down to Brandenburg. It's a shot blocked. And Johnson rips it out of traffic. Away from two white shirts. And it goes out of bounds off of Johnson. And Colgate will keep the ball. Time out of the floor with 12 24. Playing the opening half. It's Providence 19, Colgate's Raiders 14. From Nelly's Fort, this is Providence Fire Basketball. The part time and full time students. Concentrations include accounting, finance, marketing, management, and international business. You know, you look at the game down at this time out here and you said, uh, Colgate's got about 4 for 5 and 3 pointer and they're 0 for 6 cents. You know, they're shooting 5 for 12, 5 for 8 for 17, or 42%, 3 of 7 from 3 pointer land. But you look at the game and say, you know, the game got a little bit faster. When Dunn came in the ball game, he gets the ball, he rushes the ball down the floor, the guys get out on the passing lanes and sprint down the floor. It looks like the game went a little bit faster. Kobe has been starting to rush their shots that they had open before because the game was picked up and there's more quickness on the floor with the fries with Dunn and Johnson out there. Fires back out of the defensive side as Kobe gets the ball after the ball is tipped out of bounds. And Damon Sherman Newsom into the game at a guard spot for Kobe. And a deep three, top of the key, is short by Mitch Rolls, and the Friars get the rebound, but Dante Hinton grabs it. Up the four court, the left side now for Cotton. Hinton touches right side for Dunn. Dunn holds the ball, one dribble, back past the fortune, catch and cheap jumper, baseline right, two pointers in. Oh, that back court with Fletcher and Dunn. Two six foot four guys who can shoot and run. I'm, I'm kind of giddy. All right, think about it. Sort of top, he drives left, hands the ball off. Chad Johnson in the game. He's a six foot three junior from Atlanta. Now inside on the right wing for Newsom. Newsom goes underneath. Brandon Bird ball gets blocked. What do we have? That's not Sadiq Johnson. I'm going to call him Sadiq. Yeah, he's going for the pump fake there, John. He just he looks a little wounded out there. I mean, this is first minutes in all, in all year, and uh, yeah, he looks a little out of sorts on the floor, but he'll get it. Time out of four with 11.46 to go. It's still 21 14 problems. And Melvin Sport, this is Providence Fire Basketball.
Daddy Bucks is probably the official ground transportation provider for Providence College. For more on their services and industry renowned fleet of modern motor coaches, visit at caddybox.com or call 877-961-4100. You know, you look at the extra bodies that they truly have now, John. He can mix up his defense a little bit better. He can pick up with some pressure defense in the backcourt. Will Chapman, he can speed the game up because he has guys he can put in pressure. Cole gave the ball inbound, fresh shot clock. Flyers on a 12 0 run. Into the post, Bernakowski moves a pass to Goldsboro with a run. Jump hook, misses. Goldsboro grabs the rebound and gets fouled by Bernakowski from behind. Bernakowski nice move there to left hand. He takes it up strong in the post there, but Goldsboro very long. Went to challenge the shot, almost blocked it, then gets the rebound and picks up the foul as well. Good job by Lee. Goldsboro into the game for Sadiqi Johnson came in and hit his first shot. Both is missing out their last eight shots in a row from the floor and have not scored in four minutes of game time. Well, the defense got a little better in the challenge shot. Put a hand up on the shooter. Dunn working the right side. Give it go to Goldsboro who jams it home. Look at Dunn. I mean, Dunn has such a great feel out there. He finds Goldsboro on a pick and roll for Dunn. We haven't seen that all year. Lee Goldsboro gets the deuce. Flyers lead at 23-14. It's a 14-0 run. Up underneath the basket and flipping it up and in. And scoring the ball is Clayton Graham. Well, uh, Goldsboro didn't get there in time, and the middle's wide open against that defense, and they got an easy basket. It's just me, or so cool and larger out there. Well, it's because he's got the gray suit on. There's Doug, goes out of the loop underneath the head, and he caught it, couldn't quite put it home. Ball was out of bounds, but I believe that Colgate touched the ball left. Look at that call foul. Yeah, that's a foul. He was up there the ground. So Graham gets called for the foul, and it's going to put. Hedden at the line, shooting two. You see Hedden went for the all league dunk there, passed by Dunn. Great feel out there. I mean, Dunn just has total command of the game. And he sees uh, Hedden on the back door there, throws it up there to the rim. Hedden goes up and gets a four on the waist, and that's why he picks up the foul, gets two shots. So Hedden to the line, shooting. The lucky fires the first free throw good on the season. Ladante, 69% free throw shooter. That's his first point tonight. Look unfortunate out of the game as he's hit eight early points here for the fire. Well, set him up nice. That cool set him up nice with some screens coming off double screens and has the ball perfectly put in his hands. It's catch and shoot. Then he have to bounce the ball and picks it up nicely. Levante's second shot is in and out. Kobe grabs the rebound. And the Flyers lead it now 24 16. On the left side of the ball is Newsom. Now uh, left side for Mitch Roll. Rolls outside the top of the key. Works off the screen. Fires staying the 2 3 zone. Chad Johnson right at the top of the key. Stops. Looks for the free throw line for Graham. Graham goes off on the new ball. Gets intercepted. Down the baseline. Picked off there by Ladante. And now gives it up to Cotton. Cotton takes it left to right into the fourth court. Works all the way through the far side of the floor. High post for Goldsboro. Lee gives the ball back to Bryce as the play is called by Ed Cooley. Now Bryce turns and looks. Hands off to Chris Dunn. Works his way to the right with a quick step. Gives the ball back to Henry to the right. Catch and shoot three for Cotton in and out. Goldsboro crushes the offensive glass and saves it out to Cotton. Tries to do a good job on the glass. Well, finally has two offensive rebounds. Now Goldsboro with one. And now Dunn gets the play call looking over his right shoulder. High screen set by Bass. Cuts to the left. Splits the two defenders. Puts it up with an empty dude on the line. Ball rolls out of top of the rim. And the rebound comes down the wall. He leads the way back to get away. On the right side leaves it off. Three pointer deep on the way. Off the back iron. No good. Rebound underneath the game for the down table of fire. Now for Dunn. Dunn calls for the ball. Works into the fourth quarter. The right side. Stops down low. Feeds Bass underneath. Loses it. Picks it back up. He's got the defender who jumps on top of his back. To tie it up and the held ball arrow will belong to Colgate. Well, again, get the ball to Dunn. He pushes that ball up the floor so quickly. You got to run the lanes. Very nice move down there, John last time, but he had the open people on the wings there. He left to take a tough left handed shot, but he's going at as he goes along. He's a good player. Dunn comes out for his first rest. Josh Fortune comes back in. For the fire five right now, Cotton Fortune, Goldsboro, Batch, and Hinton. So Coke with the basketball, raw, hands off, working the right side is Brandon James, a 6'6 senior in the game. Now they find Newsom on the left side, penetrates the free throw line. Johnson penetrates down baseline and right, gets caught in no man's land, back out to James on the right wing. Underneath the game for Johnson. Johnson loses the ball, picks it up, finds James in the post, flips it up over his head, in and out, and the rebound for Bass, and he's foul on the rebound. He's trying to be lucky right there, as there's a layup missed there, but Bass staying strong, and he gets the rebound, and he picks up the foul. Foul on Clayton Graham, his second. Fourth on the team. So Graham comes right out of the game for Matt Lango. 
Hampton right over the top of Batch and missed the shot then for the rebound. You see what happens. Six station. Six six Matt McMullen checks in. He's a sophomore from Brooklyn, New Jersey. Top of the key for Cotton feeds back to the free throw line, left corner for Goldsboro. Goldsboro goes into the post now for him. Back out to Cotton, the left wing. No open shot. They extend out of the shooter. As Colby is going zone now to the left side. They feed back to the post. Turns into the post. Jump step, jump up, and off the back iron. Goldsboro had the rebound, goes off his hand out of bounds. And Lee being aggressive on the glass. Don't go out front to the rebound. Good move by Bats. That's the shot he's normally made this year. But it's almost shocking when he misses. And the ball is stolen by him. He takes it right away from Brandon James and James it back home. Well, there's the press. We haven't seen that all year because Coach Dewey only had seven guys to play. And that press now he can use because he has more people to rotate in there and keep it fresh. And Colgate calls timeout with 8.30 to go in the first half. It's a 26 16 prior lead. And the run is now what? 17? Is that what the run is? The ball inbounds and almost another steal by Hinton in the backcourt, but Johnson saves it for Colgate into the forecourt on the left side, penetrates into the lane, puts it up off the glass and scores. Chad Johnson, 6'3 junior, gets his first basket. Only averages one point a game, but he gets that one there. Well, he had no choice. He had to shoot that one. The Friars were chasing him down, forcing the tempo. He took a nice shot. Cotton has on the left side, up high now for Fortune. Shares there with Hinton, fakes the three. Pulls it out, right side for Cotton, gets penetration in the lane with a jump stop. Out to Henton, gets an open look at three, too strong. Rebound, Goldsboro on the offensive glass again. Saves it out to Cotton, he gets off another three. That one's no good. And there's Bats with a rebound, Henton with a rebound, and who's got it? Henton's got the ball. The foul is called on Luke Rowe for Colgate. Luke Rowe came over the back of Henton, and Bats was there as well. As a Friars doing a great job on the offensive glass, being very aggressive on it. Timeout with 7.54 to go on the half. It's 26-18. Providence leads by eight. From Nelligan Sports, this is Providence Friar Basketball. is the official orthopedic practice of Providence College Athletics, offering emergency doctor appointments every day. Call 401-944-3800 or visit orthori.com today. John and Joe back at the dunk. 26-18, Friars with the lead. Joe, the Friars have more offensive rebounds than Colgate has total rebounds. Well, they got nine offensive rebounds out of their 19 rebounds, but it's pretty obvious they're getting on the offensive glass, doing a good job. Inbounds pass from Fortune to oh. Henton, who drives the right side, left it short. And Newsom grabs the rebound for the Raiders. Great, great play, just blew the layup. And then Newsom goes over the jumper, Freethon missed it. Rebound tap is good by Colgate. 
And it'd be McMullen with the tap. Matt McMullen with his first basket of the game. Colgate back in the 2-3 zone, but they get a little offensive rebounding themselves right there. Didn't bring it down. They would have gotten it blocked, so he stays in one motion, tips it in. Now they've scored on back-to-back -back possessions to make this a six-point game. They feed Hinton in the middle, goes left side, Fortune for three, bang. Well, I tell you what, he can catch and shoot. You don't see that very often in college basketball. Guys very, have to dribble the ball. He doesn't very, have to. He can very catch it. quick release by Josh Fortune. I mean, he pulls the trigger, trigger quickly. Newsom kicks the ball back out of McMullen. Now McMullen, top of the key for Moore. Moore feeds off to James. James hands off again inside. Now the ball comes to McMullen at the free throw line. Turns to his right. Bats playing behind him. Now McMullen has it almost stolen away, but he hands it back to James. James left corner for Newsom for three. It's an air ball. Loose ball is taken away under the basket by Bats. Throws the outlet up the floor. Left sideline for Cotton. Brings the dribble back to the center. Hands off for Fortune. Thought about that deep three and decided not to pull the trigger. Well, it was only 35 feet out. So he said, uh, maybe just a little bit outside my range. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> Cotton now controls between the circles, works left, leaves it on the high post for Bats. He now goes underneath for Hinton, who lays it up, and he scores around the defender. Good pass, too, by Bats. He put it in the right spot where it couldn't get stolen and lets, leads Hinton to the basket. Five for Ladante in the half makes it 31-20. to 20. Largest lead for the Friars now at 11. Free throw line, bounce pass Sherman Newsom underneath. Ball is intercepted on the post by Bats, and up the floor now for Cotton again. Cotton stops, brings it over to the right side, works toward the Colgate bench. Fortune back to Cotton in the right corner, back to Josh Fortune in the right flat. Screen set, cuts to the left, pick and roll back to Cotton. Cotton now comes top of the key and backs the dribble out as Colgate switches on defense. They're back to man-to-man -to -man on this possession. Now works to the right side with the dribble, down to 10 to shoot, under six in the first half. Bats on the high post, works right, goes left, and a blocking foul is called on the defender, Brandon James, six foot six senior from Poughkeepsie. Good defense by Colgate there, John. It played good solid man-to-man. -man. Switched all the uh, the weave that the Friars had going as Cotton comes out and Dunn comes in and also Sadiqi Johnson checking in for Goldsboro. But, you know, when you play that good a defense, the Friars are patient. They're not, they're not going to take the quick shot. They make you play defense, and they'll throw the extra pass. So a Dunn back in. He'll inbound. Baseline left of the basket with a fresh shot clock. Kicks it off in the right corner. Hinton, open three. Got it. Good pass there by Dunn. Being patient. The Friars trying to get the ball inside the bats there on the screen in the paint. Defense collapse. Finds Hinton wide open for the three. Eight for Ladante. Friars now have their largest lead at 14. Between the circles, Luke Rowe with the ball. Comes off to the left wing. And with the ball is McMullen. Comes back out now to Pat Moore between the circles. Moore slides to the left. Back now for Bernatowski, who drives baseline. Back out to Moore. He gets an open look at three. Off the back iron, no good. Rebound underneath for Moore, for uh, Newsom, and Newsom puts it home. Well, Fred's extending that defense. When that happens, John, it opens up the middle for rebounds, and you got to box out on the shots. Damon Sherman Newsom from Anchorage, Alaska, gets his first basket of the game. He averages about seven per game for the Raiders. Anchorage, Alaska, why don't you go somewhere where it's warm? Right side for Fortune, underneath for Johnson. Siddiqui double team back out to Ladante for three. That one's too strong. Rebound tapped out, saved by Johnson. Henton comes up with the ball in the paint, lays it up around the rim. It comes out. Boy, that was halfway down. Newsom grabs the rebound up the floor to Rowe. Rowe feeds Moore, and Moore gets a layup. Good job, Colgate, getting the ball down there to Moore. They push the ball up the floor, get the easy basket. Five for Pat Moore. He's one of two starters for Colgate, back from last year's team that won eight games and finished seventh in the Patriot League. So basically a new-look Red Raider team for Colgate this season. Chris Dunn, shake and bake on Rowe, stops short, loses the dribble, picks it up on the right wing. Tried to shake him right out of his feet on that one. But well, they run this two play where he has a screen on either side. They want to get him to the basket. 2-3 zone by Colgate. Bernatowski comes up to pick up Dunn. Now he kicks into the left wing, and a travel is called on Dunn as he pulled his pivot foot up. Well, Jim Burr indoctrinated the young freshman in. and says, hey, you're going to see me a few times. And they coolly said, what was that? He's talking to Jim Burr. Jim Burr, Chris Beaver, and Tony Chiazza are the uh, three Big East officials here tonight. Rowe goes by his defender, stops outside, top of the key, Bernatowski for three, too strong. Rebound tapped right to Bats. Bats controls up the floor to Dunn. Dunn dribbles right, stops, pops from 16, no Ooh. good. Rebound loose on the floor. It's picked up by McMullen. Now McMullen hands off for Newsom into the forecourt, goes down the left side of the lane, scoops it up with the right hand from the left side, and Damon Sherman Newsom gets the deuce to go. Coach Cooley wasn't happy with that shot by Dunn as he came flying down and threw it up and didn't even hit anything from the foul line. He's probably going to come out here and have a little 
talking to. Makes a 34-26 Friar lead, eight-point lead, 325 to go in the half. As Fortune has it between the circles, six unanswered points here by Colgate. On the right side for Dunn in front of the Colgate bench, 12 to shoot. Dunn back to Fortune, catch and shoot three right side. That one's too strong. McMullen grabs the rebound. Here come the Raiders up the floor. Rowe passes off to the right side. Moore for three off the rim. No rebound tap. No. And a push in the back is called on Colgate. No, Fortune picked up that foul. Oh, did pushing they? in the back. They had three Colgate players in the paint there, John, going for the offensive rebound. Fry's on hustling back on shots. All right, timeout. 3.06 to play in the half. 34 26. Friars by eight. From Nelligan Sports, this is Providence Friar Basketball. Local Union 271 and the New England Laborers Tri-Fund salute this year's Providence College men's basketball team, the Laborers International Union of North America and Local Union 271, building Rhode Island for 100 years. Well, Fries have cooled off a bit, 14 to 33 at 42%. Colgate 11 for 26 at 42%. Fries 5 for 14 from beyond the arc. Colgate 4 for 12. They were 4 for 5 to start the ball game. They cooled off considerably behind the arc. Braz are rebounding the Raiders, 22-13. Both teams with four turnovers each, but the game is kind of getting sloppy here right now, John, and the Friars need to go out there and do a better job of getting back on defense. They're allowing Colgate second shot opportunities, similar to what the Colgate Raiders allowed the Friars to do. Colgate with the ball. Bernatowski has it out of bounds. It comes off of Luke Rowe, and the Friars will get the ball. Good defense there. They doubled, and Bryce Cotton got his hand in there on the ball, knocked it off the Colgate player out of bounds. That is the fifth Colgate turnover. They only average about 15 turnovers per game. They do actually a pretty good job of holding on to the ball, just forcing 10 per game defensively, however, as the Friars have it with an eight-point lead. Cotton up high now for bats, turns and looks at John Brandenburg at 6'11 back nice. in. Gives it off to Cotton. Deuce is good. We're just outside the free throw line. Good execution right there. Nice screen by Kofani to free up Cotton wide open at the foul line. Bryce Cotton with five first half points. Friars are back up double digits by 10. Rowe drives by Cotton, pulls up at the free throw line, missed the jumper, and Kofani grabs the rebound for the Friars up the floor for Cotton. And we have Ladante a Friar. Ladante must have caught an elbow face in the face. Yeah, he is down on the floor in the semicircle under the basket to our left. And Kofani hit uh, Henry. I heard Ed Cooley say, he's on our team. <laughs> he said he plays for us. Look at Brees. Brees is trying to keep from cracking a smile. <laughs> oh, my. I don't know if anybody heard that. But Ed Cooley is pleading to Brees, hey. But I like that he's aggressiveness green by today. Brees, so I like that aggressiveness. He goes after every rebound. You want him to do that. Top of the key with the ball is Bats. Kadeem. Looks at Brandon Burke, Same feeds play. it off to Cotton, free the line jumper, good again. Same play, to get Cotton wide open, good pass there by Bats, but Kofani frees him up. That's seven now for Cotton, Friar League grows back to 12, they've led by as much as 14. Bernatowski drives in the paint, loses the ball, and Brandenburg steps out of bounds with it on the baseline, and a turnover again for Colgate. Well, Kofani in the middle of that, I mean, Kofani 
is a guy who'll give you two or three spectacular minutes blocking shots, being in the right place at the right plant time defensively, and then he'll drive Eddie crazy with some kind of crazy shot. <laughs> That's why he takes him out. Friars with the ball. We dip under two minutes to play in the opening half, and ball goes yep. to Kofani, and the ball comes out of Kofani's hand. Picked up by Colgate, driving right, laying it up with the left hand is Bernatowski. Eight for Murphy Bernatowski to lead Colgate in the half. Makes it 38-28 with about 42 to play before halftime. Cotton, one foot in the mid-four circle, works to the right side on Mitch Rolls back into the game. Stops his penetration on the right wing into the corner now for Fortune. Feeds Bats in the post. Bats backs his way nice. on the left-handed hook off the back iron. It comes out. Rolls gets the rebound and turns to develop the floor. Off the screen, works to the right. Stops inside the top of the key. Bernatowski gets off the three. Too strong. Rebound for Henton. Well, after he had two quick open looks, he hadn't been able to hit anything. No, he's wide open, too, on those shots. The Friday defense isn't as good as it has been. Here is Cotton handing off to the left, right side for Josh Fortune. Back to Cotton underneath for Bats. Puts it above the glass again. Won't get it. And Brandenburg grabs the rebound as we dip under a minute to go in the half. Rolls into the forecourt, top of the key. Bernatowski on the right wing. Free throw line extended. Shows the ball. Brings the ball back center. Hands off for Rolls. Rolls, left wing now for Moore. Pat Moore feeds Bernatowski oh. underneath. Drives, puts it up too strong. Brandenburg had it, saves it from going out of bounds. Out to Moore, the mid floor circle. Shot clock is down to 10. The ball bounces off the head of Moore, out of bounds, and it'll be Friar Ball. Seventh Colgate turnover of the half with 36.8 to go on the clock. Friars can basically play for the last one here as they get a fresh shot clock. Chad Johnson checks back in for Colgate, 6'3 junior. And also Matt McMullen, a 6'6 sophomore back in. And Clayton Graham, a 6'8 junior from Old Greenwich, Connecticut, checks in for Colgate. So they bring in Colgate three spunky. fresh bodies. Hey, they're spunky, John. You know, they played at Illinois, at Marquette, and they played uh, Syracuse at Syracuse. So, you know, they're, they're used to playing good teams. They're going to keep coming at you. They're not afraid of anybody, as you said. Illinois, Syracuse, Marquette, all on their schedule that they've lost to this year. Friars again working the ball just inside the mid-floor line. Clock is dwindling down to 17, 16, 15 to shoot. Fortune makes his move, hands off to Cotton, and there's a foul called. They're going to call Chad Johnson for the foul, and that is number seven on Colgate. So puts the Friars at the line, shooting one and one with 15.1 seconds to go before halftime. That's not a good foul right there. You know, you get to the one and one, you put the best foul shooter on the team, and the Friars on the line. Ted Bancroft checks in for the Friars for the first time as Kadeem Batch comes up. And Johnson and McMullen come out. They bring back in Luke Rowe and I believe Brandon James back in for Colgate. So one and one of the line for Bryce Cotton. 80.7% from the line on the season for the junior. And he hits the first one with another one coming. Friars as a team, Joe, are number two in the Big East in free throw shooting at almost 73%. That's good. It should be higher. I mean, they're, they're a team that, uh, you know, you got to make those free throws when you're a team that needs to score points in different areas. And Cotton misses the free throw there, but you need to make those points when you struggle in the half-court offense. He makes one of two. It's an 11-point lead. Colgate with the ball. Rowe with the ball on the right side with five, with four. Back out deep three for Mitch Rolls from 35 feet. No good. Rebound tapped out. And the ball up at the basket. No good off the top of the uh, rim as Bernatowski threw it up at the buzzer and just missed. So Providence will get an 11-point lead at halftime over Colgate, 39-28. to 28. Well, you can tell Colgate's coach was a former guard because these guys come out firing out of the locker room. They're not bashful. They'll take all kind of three-point shots, and they're hanging right in the ball game. But Bryce was a little slow start, but Ed Cooley got his new players in there, indoctrinated a little bit, and 39 points in the first half. It could be better. The defense needs to pick up. Our Dexter Credit Union halftime report comes up next from Nelligan Sports. This is Providence Friar Basket. John and Joe back at the dunk. We get sent for the second half. Providence and Colgate. Once again, to get started, Friars 7-2 and two on the season. Off for 12 days since a win over Rhodey back on the 6th of the month. Colgate 3-7 and seven on the season. They lost to Albany back on the 8th of December. They've lost four straight overall over their 10 days that they've had off since their last game after the loss to Albany. Joe mentioned earlier they've had losses to Illinois at Marquette, lost to Elon, lost to Syracuse, lost to Cornell and Quinnipiac. Their wins over Marist, Coppin State, 
and on the road at St. Francis of Pennsylvania. Yeah, they've had a pretty tough schedule, Colgate. You know, they had uh, two starters back from last year's team. They had 10 Letterman back, so these guys have played a lot of ball games together. They're just uh, a little overmatched in the beginning of that first half. Preseason number seven of the Patriot League. Lehigh number one, Holy Cross, who the Friars played and beat. Fourth, Chris Dunn with the ball. Three-pointer right wing, no good. Rebound by Josh Fortune out to Cotton. Cotton penetrates, ball goes out of bounds, and it is last touched by the white shirts. Friars are in the green tonight to uh, commemorate Sandy Hook Elementary and honor those who died in that horrific shooting last Friday. So they're wearing green uniforms tonight, Colgate in the white with maroon lettering and numerals. Friars, of course, opened up with possession of the ball to start the second half of their basket to our left on the radio here in half number two. Cotton drives around a screen to the left side, left corner for Fortune in front of his bench, bringing it to the dribble back to the right side, hands off for Chris Dunn. Dunn starting the second half after coming in off of the bench in the first half. Between the circles, high screen set to the free throw line. Jumper up off the back iron, no good. That's a part of his game that certainly will have to improve. Off to the left side with the ball is Damon Sherman Newsom to the right wing now for Mitch Rolls. Rolls pulls up for three off the back iron. Rebound for Luke Rowe. Saves it back out. Newsom left wing, three-pointer by Brandon James is short, and there's Dunn with a rebound. Dunn now into the forecourt, right to left. Centers gives it off to Cotton, trailing three-pointer, good. That's all Cotton has to do, find the open spot. Dunn will get down the floor and lay it off for a nice little pass there by Dunn. And Cotton has 11. Friars match their largest lead at 14. Bernatowski in the post, wraps around. LaDante, and ball comes out, and LaDante gets the rebound. Into the forecourt on the left side. Now for Cotton. Cotton lobs it to Bats. Bats double teamed out to Dunn. He's going to take the open three, hits it! Well, not bashful. you got to be confident out there. They're leaving him open. They're just backing off him, knowing he's not a great outside shooter, so he's got to knock down the shots. Well, knowing that he certainly is a premier penetrator as well, it's probably the way you got to play him. Luke Rowe drives left, kicks it back right side for Newsom. Newsom has Bats come out and double him. Now Fortune comes up, right wing for Rowe. Rowe penetrates free to line, kicks it through to Bernataki, spins in the post, turn around jumper, in and out, it rattles, and Fortune grabs the ball. Good D by Dunn right there, hand on the shooter. Up the floor to Dunn, Dunn drives right side, stops free the line, out to Cotton for three. Bang! Cotton's going to love playing with Dunn because he doesn't have to look off the dribble anymore to get his shot. You'll see Dunn just penetrating, throw it out for the wide open jumper. And a timeout call by Matt Langell, the head coach at Colgate. 17.55 to go in the ball game, and the Friars open up now a 20-point lead. Their largest of the game, 48-28. to 28. From Nelligan Sports, this is Providence Friar Basketball. Hey, Friar fans, the Rhode Island Department of Transportation reminds you that seatbelts save lives. Remember, it's click it or ticket. Friars off to a good start here in the second half, shooting the ball, John, three for five. Colgate just one for four. Friars with four rebounds, Colgate with two. But, you know, the way the Friars have started, they put Dunn here to start the second half, you know, get into that rhythm with a point guard. You know, something the Friars really haven't had. Bryce Cotton has filled in admirably playing that point guard position. 
The Friars with seven. Seven wins in nine games has been unbelievable. And you have Cotton now who just has to run the floor and get open and look for the open shot and have Dunn handle the ball. Looking for the inbounds. Colgate gets it in against full court Friar pressure. At the bottom of the backcourt is Mitch Rolls and he brings it left to right into the forecourt. Now for the Raiders. Bounce pass to the right side. Almost stolen by Dunn but knocked out of bounds. Here on the near side. Tipped it away from Damon Sherman Newsom. Dunn's very long. Has good anticipation out there on the defensive end. Newsom inbounds in front of the scoring table between the circles for Brandon James, six foot six senior. Now on to the left side for Mitch Rolls, who's a six foot senior guard from Kansas. Luke Rowe, right wing again for Newsom. Newsom looks to the post, brings the dribble with the left hand into the lane, dumps it back off now for Bernatowski. Right side for James, pulls up short jumper, right wing in and out, gets his own rebound and scores on the follow. Good job by James there, losing, missing the first shot, but getting the offensive rebound. Fries in, box him out. Finishes it off. James gets his first basket as Dunn handles the ball out near the mid-floor circle. 48-30, Friar lead cut to 18, 17-10 to play. Off the screen, Dunn rolls to the right, kicks the ball inside for Bats. Bats lays it up and scores. Great pass by Dunn. He looked off the defender and finds the pass, threads the needle inside the Bats for the layup. That's eight for Kadeem. Friars back up by 20. It's James has it outside the three-point arc. On the right side, looks for a handoff. Now stops, feeds the post, inside underneath, and a score for Bernatowski. Well, Ladante got on the top side. They good pass inside for the big guy. Used his body very well to shield off Hinton, gets the layup. 10 for Murphy Bernatowski, the main transfer. He averages a little better than 16 per game. Done with the ball, left of the key, works off the... Of Screen set by Bats, kicks it back to Cotton for three. Off the rim, no. Rebound tap, tap twice, picked up. Almost scored there again by Bats, and it's finally ripped out of there by James. That's James tipped well. away from behind by Cotton, and Dunn finds Bats for the dunk. You know, Bats did everything well that first time, John. Just didn't make the layup, but then the steal there by Dunn finds him for the dunk. And so Bats now with 10, and the Friars are back up by 20. Again, Pressure in the backcourt for the Friars as Rowe finds it across the mid-floor line, and there's a 10-second call. Rowe couldn't get the ball across the line of Brandon James just before the clock had spun out for well, 10 seconds. Friars have great quickness in that backcourt now with Cotton, Henton, and Dunn and Fortune, so they get to the passing lanes very well, and that press is going to work a lot. You'll see a few more 10-second violations before the year's out. Colgate's ninth turnover of the ball game. So here's Chris Dunn. Off to the left side for Bryce Cotton. Cotton, screen set by Bats, rolls to the right, gets to the free throw line, gives it back to Kadeem. 15-foot bank shot, no good. Rebound tapped out, kept alive by Fortune, but finally pulled away by Matt McMullen for Colgate. Up the floor now for Newsom. Newsom pulls up at the right side. Fortune there defensively. Leaves it off for Bernatowski in the corner at the free throw line for McMullen. Back to Bernatowski. Gets off the quick three, no good. Rebound done on the offside. Now Chris brings it right to left into the forecourt. Long pass, Fortune, pull up jumper, no. Rebound on the offside for Ladante. Goes back up, loses the dribble, picks it up and scores. Good rebound, Ladante. That's the way he rebounded last year, getting them offensive rebounds. Quick pass for Rolls up the floor, feeds his man. Shot gets blocked, and a foul is called on, on Cotton. Cotton as he got down the floor and blocked the shot of Luke Rowe. Cotton looks like he got that block there. I think the official anticipated a foul there, but it looked pretty good for me. Timeout with 15-19 to play. It's Providence 54, Colgate 32. From Nelligan Sports, this is Providence Friar Basketball.
Will you be Rhode Island's next millionaire? Play Rhode Island Lottery's Million Dollar Raffle on sale now. Details at rilot.com. Well, you know, you look at the fries out on the floor, John, it's ironic. You look at Chris Dunn, who's his first ball game, and, you know, he's playing in the green shirt tonight. And, you know, I look at his game, and it, he reminds me a little bit of Rondo up there in Boston, who's, uh, you know, one of the top three point guards in the game, in my opinion. I mean, Rondo's just been fantastic. And he doesn't have a great outside shot, Rondo. He, he keeps Giannis where he's able to make that shot on occasion, but that's not his game. He wants to get to the basket, a little floaters. And that's the way Dunn plays. I mean, Dunn's a player that doesn't really look for the outside shot because he doesn't hit that shot on a consistent basis, but he keeps the pressure on the defense by pushing the ball up the floor, keeps his head up, and finds the open man. He's very confident with the ball. It's like it's on a string. And it's so much reminiscent of watching Rondo all these years, and he's in a green uniform tonight. It really <laughs> makes it ironic. Colgate's first free throws of the night by Luke Rowe. And his first shot is in and out, no good. Sophomore from Scottsdale, Arizona. Only a 58% free throw shooter on the year. Colgate, as a team, though, shoots pretty well at just about 72%. Second shot, no good. Missed them both. And LaDante Hinton gets the rebound. So it's a 22-point lead. It's their largest of the ball game with 15-12 to play here in the second half. On the right wing of the ball is Bryce Cotton. Cotton turns, looks at the post, finds bats, and loses the ball off his foot. Instead, it goes off of the foot of Bernatowski, and so the Friars get a gift and get it back as Pat Moore checks in for Luke Rowe for Colgate. Moore, one of their two returning starters back in there and leading scorer from a year ago. Averaged about 10 points per game. He averages 13.7 this year. Coming off the bench for a bit tonight. Pass into the post for Johnson at the free throw line. Turnaround jumper is up off the side of the rim. Bernatowski chases down the rebound. Knocked out of bounds there by Siddiqui, and Colgate will keep it. Siddiqui, that's not a shot I think that uh, Ed Cooley wants him to take. He just reminded it as he yelled out to him. <laughs> what kind of shot was that? Pass off to the right side. Now for Bernatowski between the circles. Leaves it off for Moore. Moore on the left wing brings the ball back to the center. Friars come out and extend a 2-3 zone now out on the Colgate shooters. Moore between the circles. Right wing again for Newsom. Back to Moore in the center. Goes left for Rolls. Mitch Rolls back again to Pat Moore. Right corner for Newsom. Lost the dribble off his foot. It's picked up there by Fortune in front of the Colgate bench. Now Fortune passes off for, Car for Cotton on the left side. He wraps around to Siddiqui, and Siddiqui is held by Bernatowski in the post. Bernatowski trying to get around Siddiqui Johnson, which is a tough chore. Siddiqui's a big upper body guy. Had a good position right there and picks up the foul. Bernatowski, not a small guy. He's a 6'7 junior from Waterloo, Ontario. He looks small, though, compared to Johnson. Inbounds comes to Cotton. Shoot, three, left side, two strong. Rebound Johnson on the offensive glass. One dribble on the floor. Power move up and in. He gets a rebound in there. You're not going to get it away from him. He squeezed the air out of it. Good rebound in traffic right there. Finishes it off. That's four for Siddiqui in the game, and the Friars are up 24. Pass to Bernatowski, right of the key. Goes left now for Rolls. Rolls comes to Moore. Moore back out to Rolls between the circles. Finds the middle to McMullen. McMullen turns, looks right wing again for Moore. Quick three-pointer on the way. Too strong. Rebound tap. Bernatowski no. And Johnson with the rebound for the Friars. Now for Cotton again up the right sideline. Into the forecourt to our left. And Cotton stops. Kicks the ball up high for Siddiqui. One dribble. Two dribbles. Down the lane. Puts it Oops. up. Won't get it to go. And he travels. And again, Ed Cooley gives the icy stare to Siddiqui Johnson out on the floor. Well, Siddiqui's got to realize this is not the playgrounds. I mean, he caught the ball at the top of the key, and he tries to take the ball down the middle like Chris Dunn would do. I mean, that's not your game. Your game is to swing the ball, set some screens, and get to the glass. Sixth turnover of the game for the Friars. Clayton Graham checks back in. He has the ball on the high post, dumps it off for McMullen underneath, kicks it out to Noose, and moves up with a 15-foot bank shot. Missed it, rebound tapped out. There's Fortune again with the ball for the Friars. Fortune weaves in traffic, leaves it off, off the top of the key now for Cotton, backs it out, looks over his left. Gets the play call from Coach Cooley. Bounce pass to the high post at the free throw line for Bat. Turns, dumps it off underneath for Hinton, who wraps around and scores. Good move by LaDante. That's his game. Now he's finally getting into his game where he's around the basket, creating shots in the paint. Good move. 12 points, 9 rebounds for LaDante Hinton tonight. The Friars extend the lead to 26. Bounce pass right side. Fortune almost stole it, saves it, but Rowe takes it back. Excuse me, Rolls takes it back now for Colgate. He's so tough at the top of that zone. When him and Dunn are out at the top of the zone, that's tough. Moore bounces, and there's the top of the zone with a steal as Cotton had it and then dribbled it off his foot out of bounds. 
Well, he dribbled it off one of the Colgate players out of bounds. John wow. dribbled off Pat Moore, kicked it out of bounds. Moore did kick it out of bounds, so the Friars are going to get to keep the ball as Reese Kofani checks in and replaces Siddiqui Johnson. You know, you look at Fortune, he has great anticipation out there. He's in the passing lane. He's always deflecting passes. Then Bryce Cotton, with his quickness, was able to tip that one and get going. So Cotton has it in the mid fourth circle for the Friars. Man-to-man -man defense for Colgate as Cotton slides to the left in front of his bench. Passes off to the right side, up high for LaDante Hinton. Hinton looks off, coming off the screen. His fortune gets into the lane, scoops it nice. up the left hand and scores. That's a good move by Fortune. And getting up on his right hand, so he takes the ball to the basket from that left side, right side with the left hand off the glass. That's a good move. When you're a good shooter and you're able to do that, now the defense doesn't know how to play you. they they got to try to take away the shot away, but if they do that, that's going to open up the lane for you, and that's what happened to Fortune right there. Fortune has 13 points, his first basket of the second half. Luke Rowe has checked back in for Colgate along with Chad Johnson. A 10-0 Friar run to extend the lead out to 28 points. Right wing for Johnson. The Friars stay in the 2-3 zone. Moore to Johnson again on the right side. Back to Moore. Slides to the Deep. left. Deep three-pointer. No good. Rebound. McMullen underneath. McMullen in traffic. Gets it back out to Johnson. He gets off the 16-footer. Misses it badly. Bats gets the rebound. Up the floor again. Right sideline for Cotton. Pushes it now for LaDante who attacks and is called for charge. That's good play there by Moore. Picking up the offensive fouls. He got his foot on the baseline and Took away the baseline from LaDante. Lola's shoulder picked up the offensive foul. Second personal in LaDante. Second team foul of the Friars in the half at a timeout with 11.52 to play. It's Providence 60, Colgate 32. From Nelligan Sports, this is Providence Friar basketball. with 11.52 to play. Fry shooting the ball well too, John. Nine for 17 from the floor, 53%. Three of five from three-point land. In a nice rhythm out there. Colgate having a struggle right now, shooting just two for 13 from the floor, 0 for five from three-point land. But it's the way they're shooting, John. They're taking bad shots right now, Colgate. It seems like they're rushing everything out there. And they really don't have to. In the first half, they threw some extra passes and got some good looks. But the Fries are rushing them into taking some crazy shots with the good defensive pressure. Last Colgate field goal came at the 1646 mark, and that was five minutes ago. Raiders with the basketball, working basket to our right on the radio here in half number two. Johnson goes to the left wing for Luke Rowe. Back up to Johnson at the top of the key. Rowe again on the left flat. Friars stay in the 2-3 zone. Johnson up high, looks down low, nothing there. Off to the wing, throws the ball away. Out of bounds, turnover. Good D by the Friars, active in the zone, clogging out the passing lanes and get a turnover. So Dunn will bring it into the forecourt for the Friars. It's been a long time since we thought we'd actually hear that phrase this year, but he does now as he's back in there for Providence after missing the first couple of months of the season coming off his shoulder surgery. Under the right post now for Bats. Bats tries to back his way in, wants to work his way in, kicks the ball back outside, top of the key, Dunn, open three off the back iron, rebound underneath for Johnson and Colgate. 
Now he pushes up the right side for Luke Rowe. Rowe, top of the key, slides back outside near the midfoot circle, passes off to Moore, back to Rowe. Johnson on the left side, feeds McMullen in the post. McMullen by the free throw line, kicks it back out for Moore, moves to the right on the baseline underneath for Graham, back to McMullen, out to Moore. Moore slides in front of his bench. Again, underneath, Johnson, quick nice. move to Rowe, 15-footer, off the back iron, no rebound tip, and taken by Kofani. Well, that was good ball movement by Colgate that time. Got a very good look, just didn't knock the shot down. And now Cotton with a behind-the-back dribble into the forecourt right for Hinton. Back to Cotton in the corner. He feeds Bats in the post. Bats on the offside now for Dunn, and Dunn lays it up and in. Good pass by Bats. I mean, doing it all this year. He's hitting the outside shot. He's making good decisions, but a good pass by, to Dunn. But Dunn didn't stand around, John. He cut to an open spot. Get the open spot. That gets easy to lay. Yep. Seven for Chris Dunn in the ballgame. A 12-0 Friar run. They lead 62-32 underneath with the ball. McMullen blocked out of there on the baseline and stolen in the corner by Hinton. Up the floor again for Dunn. Pushes left. Cotton open three. Left corner. Yes! How about that with Dunn? Always has his head up. He finds Cotton wide open at the other end of the floor. He has his head down dribbling. He would never gotten it over to Cotton. But Dunn with that good point, God's instincts, finds the open man at the end of the floor. And Matt Langell, Colgate's coach, calls a timeout. 65-32. Let's take the timeout from Nelligan Sports. This is Providence Fire Basketball. Serving Denver and Fort Myers. Learn more at pvdairport.com. You know, we're talking about Chris Dunn a lot here in his first game, but, you know, he's a kid that looks like he wants to play like, you know, Ernie Banks, well, let's play two. Looks like Chris Dunn wants to play all night. He played three or four games in a row. <laughs> he just has tons of energy. Colgate has missed their last seven shots from the floor. Friars have made five of the last six to open it up. Bernatowski, double team to the right wing, goes to Johnson in the corner. 9.45 to play. They feed the post, and in the air is Lazar Bogdanovic, who's a senior from Serbia and has only played one game. The Friars came up with a loose ball, but there's Luke Rowe to take it right back for Colgate. Hands off to Rolls. Rolls fakes, goes left. He finds Bernatowski, drives in the left corner. Johnson, deep three. No good. Rebound tipped out and saved by Kofani. Good job by Kofani. He's getting boxed out, but he goes up nicely, avoids the foul, and tips it to himself. Gets the rebound. So the Friars have it on the high post for Kadeem Bats. Bats works on Bogdanovic, the senior from Serbia. Three-pointer Cotton, off balance, no good. Rebound taken by Bogdanovic on the baseline. And he hands off to Rolls, and Rolls then gets bumped by the Friars. Foul is called on Chris Dunn. Well, you don't mind that foul too much. I mean, Dunn being aggressive in the backcourt, he thought he had the steal right there, but lost his balance, picks up the foul. First on Chris, just the third on the team here in the second half. And Kadeem Bats will come out. Lee Goldsboro checks in. Well, Kadeem Bats steady again tonight. I mean, playing good basketball all year. Ten points, seven rebounds, seven assists. A career high in assists for Kadeem tonight. Johnson, top of the key, Rowe, goes left wing for Rolls. Rolls, Mitch Rolls, six-foot senior from Coffeyville, Kansas, has it left side, penetrates, kicks it off in the left corner, driving Bernatowski underneath for Johnson, blocked by Kofani, and he comes out of there with a the ball. Best oh. shot blocker on the team, Kofani. Up the floor now to Cotton on the left wing. High post for Kofani, passes off to Fortune. Fortune cuts back left, and Cotton pulls the ball out near the mid four circle. Now Cotton, bounce pass on the high post, ball gets kicked by Rowe, and the Friars will keep it with 22 to shoot. 8.31 on the game clock, 65-32, Providence. 
Cotton, mid floor circle. High screen, double screens, rolls to the left side, spins to the right. There is underneath for Kofani has his shot blocked by Bogdanovich as he got the pass from Goldsboro. And Bogdanovich picks up a foul and puts Brees at the line for two shots. The best part about that play, Brees was able to catch the ball. I mean, he caught the ball in traffic and then took it all up in one motion. He didn't bring the ball down. A lot of times he brings the ball down where the guards can strip it away from him. But he caught it up high and kept it high, went up for the shot and gets the foul. Good job. So Kofani goes to the line to shoot two on the season, only 36% from the free throw line. Now that one off the side of the rim, no good. They're going to charge the foul instead to Bernatowski rather than Bogdanovich. And for Bernatowski, that's his third personal. Just the second on Colgate here in the second half. Cotton comes out. They haven't said that much this year. No. Cotton comes out. Second shot good <laughs> for Brees. That's his first point of the game. Averages 2.2 per game and about five rebounds per game. And it's 66-32. Bernatowski left, now to the right side for Johnson. Fakes right, goes left, pushes it for Mitch Rolls. Rolls holds on against the zone on that side. Dunn gets screened away. Bounce pass now for Luke Rowe. Rowe has it outside the three-point arc. Passes again to the left side for Rolls. Rolls looks for the screen, cuts to the right, looks for penetration, gets fouled at the top of the key. Foul is called on Dunn. His second, team's fourth, and an official timeout. 7.58 remaining. Providence 66, Colgate 32. In Elegant Sports, this is Providence Friar Basketball. is tomorrow night at B. Pinelli's on North Broadway in East Providence. So come on by. The show starts at 7 p.m. and it'll also be broadcast live right here on 103.7 FM from 7 until 8 o'clock tomorrow night. Ed Cooley Show, B. Pinelli's on North Broadway in East Providence. Are you going to make it tomorrow night? I'll be there tomorrow. All right, no football game, huh? No football Ruck game. is Louisville for the BCS Bowl berth. Neither team's ranked. They both stink. You went and did that game. I got paid. <laughs> that's all right. Yeah, okay, that's, that's thank right. you. That's up for you. You pay for me? 16 <laughs> nothing. Friar run as Colgate still has not scored since the 1646 mark. Three-pointer in the left wing, no good. Bernatowski grabs the offensive rebound. He finds Johnson at the free throw line, double teamed on the wing, saves it back out to Rolls. Now pushes to Bernatowski, drives down to the post, puts up the runner, no good, and he's fouled. He will go to line. The foul is called on Goldsboro. Well, defense has been pretty good, John, the second half here. The Friars are everywhere. Every shot that seems like Colgate takes is a contested one and a rushed shot. I mean, they don't get anything where their feet are set. They had, remember, one play where they threw the extra pass and had a shot in the corner wide open. But other than that, they've had to work extremely hard to get a good look. Bernatowski at the line. Free throw is good, and that's the first point scored by Colgate in nine minutes and four seconds. Well, the defense has been pretty good, but the offense for Colgate has really struggled. He missed the second one, and Kofani gets the rebound. Colgate has missed 10 consecutive shots from the floor. 66-33, Friars have doubled up the score. Goldsboro to the free throw line, turns and looks underneath. One dribble, passes off left now for Dunn. 
Dunn works his way to the middle, kicks it out to Goldsboro, stops on the wing, feeds on the right side, passes intercepted and taken by Rolls. Rolls behind the back with the dribble, gets into the forecourt, crosses over, but there is the ball poked away by Goldsboro. Fortune comes up with it, and it gets fouled from behind by Rolls for Colgate. Good D there by Goldsboro, but bad decision by him to try to throw the ball inside. I mean, sub some silly turnovers. First foul on Rolls, third foul on the Raiders. Friars get, get the basketball as Dunn brings it into the forecourt. And hands off for Fortune. Cuts around the screen to the right side. Looks for penetration. Henton touches it back out to Dunn on the right wing now for Fortune. Fortune back to Henton. Hesitates on the three. Penetrates. Kicks the ball back outside. Fortune pushes between the circles to Dunn. Dunn near the mid four circle. Screen set. Rolls left with eight to shoot. Looks underneath. Pass the ball back outside. Still looking left corner. Goldsboro for three. Off the back iron. No good. Rebound popped out. And a foul is called. They're going to call it on Chad Johnson for Colgate, pushing off on Brees Kofani. Well, you know, it's funny that situation there. The shot clock was winding down, and Kofani sets the screen for Dunn, and Dunn throws it back to him rolling, but that's not a guy you want to throw the ball back to Kofani at the foul line moving because there's nothing good's going to happen there. Speaky Johnson back into the game. Ball comes inside. The Ladante Hen picks Ladante up on the Hen pick and roll. It. Good move there, John. He just you got blocked off by Ed Cooley right there, but he came off the screen there and picks up the nice layup. And for Ladante, now that's his 14th point of the ball game. Makes it 68-33. Right side, Bernatowski underneath for Bogdanovich. It's knocked out of bounds by the Friars. Henton got a hand on it. Colgate will keep it with 23 to shoot. 6.22 on the game clock. 68-33. Oh, Friars Colgate in just, command. This went in the tank. They can't make a shot. Bogdanovich has it between the circles. Hands off left now for Newsom, who's back in. Underneath for Rowe, and it's knocked away on the baseline by Henton. Picked up by Dunn, and a foul on Bernatowski, who picks up his fourth personal. Team foul five on the Raiders here in the half. You know, when you're teaching kids how to play, John, you say, you know, you watch them play defense, and they have the hand by their sides. They don't have their hands up. There's a perfect example. Friar zone, everybody's hands are at the wings, wings length. They're always moving. Their hands are active. They're getting a lot of deflections. That ball was deflected by Henton. That's allowed Dunn to steal the ball and pick up the foul. Pat Moore also back in along with Brandon James for Colgate. And the Friars will have the ball in the backcourt. Bernatowski and Johnson come out for the Raiders. So Cotton walks the ball in the forecourt, then leaves it off for Dunn, who will run it at the point. Colgate stays man-to-man. -man. Dunn high post for Hinton. Adante turns left, turns back to the right, hands off for Siddiqui in the post, and a whistle. And Jim Burr says, getting physical in there. There's a push underneath. I believe they got who? 15? Bogdanovich and Bogdanovich. Uh, Siddiqui and Johnson are going at it. Those guys are playing rugby on the post there. That's the way Johnson likes to play. Bogdanovich is also likes that physical contact. Sixth team foul for Colgate. Friars will inbound. Baseline left. Dunn into the corner for Cotton in front of his bench. Pulls the dribble out. Goes back to Dunn on the baseline, dumps it off in the post for Siddiqui. He's double teamed, goes up and under, powers it up, won't get it to go, but Bogdanovich will foul him. I think Siddiqui, the, the more physical the game is, the more he enjoys it. He loves Bogdanovich out there beating him up from behind. He just uses his body out there, gets his position, and takes it up strong. But the key with uh, Siddiqui Johnson is to get the position. You know, he gets to that square, he does, he's not moved out of there, he's too strong. So Siddiqui's first free throws is a friar, no good off the back of the iron. He's got two shots here. Played three games at Arizona in the first semester of last season, 2011. Seven total minutes, and then transferred to Providence. The second one rattles in and out. And Colgate with a loose ball up the floor for Rowe. Hands off for Newsom. Newsom penetrates down low. Blocked by Siddiqui. Ball squirts free to the free throw line and picked up by Henton. A three on two. Dunn in the middle. Leaves it off for Henton on the right baseline. Covered well by Colgate. And Dunn kicks the ball back out to Fortune. And the Friars will set it up. Score remains 68-33 with 5.25 to play. With the ball on the left wing. Penetrating is Dunn. Dumps Ooh. it off for Siddiqui on a little pick and roll try, and the ball gets over his head out of bounds. Good idea. Siddiqui just didn't read it. See, I was telling you about Dunn. He, he anticipates something happening before it happens, but uh, Siddiqui wasn't on the same page that time. It was a good pick and roll. If Siddiqui Johnson had rolled another foot, he had a dunk. So Colgate comes up with the ball on the 10th Friar turnover of the game. Newsom with the ball on the right wing. Friars again extend out of the shooters in the 2-3 zone. Newsom goes left for Moore. Back to Newsom again. Dribbles right. Cut off at the three-point line. Double team on the wing. Top of the key for Moore. 
Moore shows it, penetrates, kicks the ball, takes the ball back out on the dribble drive. Now works his way to the left side, curls down, throws up the runner off the glass. No rebound, tapped by Sadiq. He tapped again, and then Dunn rips it out of traffic. Dunn with the dribble and the drive down the lane, crosses over, flows up the floater. No good. Rebound comes down to James. James hands off for Rowe into the four-court left. Now he centers with a dribble, kicks it through outside to Newsom, penetrates, dumps it off underneath, a layup, score for Clayton Graham. First field goal in over 12 minutes for Colgate. Amazing. I mean, it's not like they've had bad shots. They're just not making shots. They've rushed them a little bit too much, but they had good looks. Just can't make them. 68-35. Down on the baseline right out to Cotton for three. Got it! And he's fouled into the stands! He lands in the lap of a young man right on the sideline, hits the three, and will have a chance at the four-point play. Well, you know, he gets fouled a lot, John, because of the way he shoots, the motion he has. That's why he's gotten hurt this year where he goes up and he slings his body, but that's the way he shoots. And the defensive play is coming across and hitting him along the legs and picks up the foul. And that, you're going to see a lot of those plays this year already for Bryce Cotton. We'll see some, a few more. So Cotton will go to the line to shoot the four-point play opportunity. He's got 12 points in the second half. Now he's got 13, all of them on three-pointers. Foul was on Clayton Graham, his third. Team seven, so the Friars will shoot one and one. Team's eighth, I should say. And Ted Bancroft checks into the game for the Friars, 72-35. Rowe, now for Newsom, drives right, goes down the right side, puts it up, and scores. Moved by Newsom right there. Friars just parted that zone, let him go to the basketball. They want to take away the three, but you can't give up easy twos. Six for Damon Sherman Newsom, sophomore from Alaska. Makes it 72-37. Dunn working on the left side, up high now for Bancroft. Drives right. Kicks off the right corner. Fortune 15-footer good. We haven't said much about Fortune. He started out a blaze out there. Even though he didn't force any shots, that's the first open look he's really had in the second half. Knocks it down. He's at six out of nine from the floor and has 15 points. Moore, left side in the corner, finds James. Back outside to Pat Moore. Moore against the zone, now finds Newsom, who drives again right, puts up the layup and scores again. Again, on a similar play to the last time. Same play, John. You're right. I mean, we're right down the middle there. The Friars have to... Collapse on that play. The big guy's got to step up. Eight for Damon Sherman Newsom. Makes it 74-39. And we've got 3-10 to play here in the ballgame. Bancroft, right of the key, comes left of the key for Dunn, holds the ball high, passes off to Johnson. Johnson shows it, pulls up with a 14-footer off the back iron. So. No good. Loose ball squirts free now to Dunn. Dunn kicks it through to Fortune. Fortune goes up. Another 15-footer. Good. Nice and smooth right there. You like Fortune taking that shot, but Sadiq, you don't mind him taking that shot in a 40-point game, but I don't want him in crunch time taking that kind of shot. 17 for Josh Fortune, and there's a foul underneath as James got the ball under the basket. Bancroft is called for the foul. That's a bad call right there. Bancroft was getting the ball right there. <laughs> Mercy call. Perhaps. Timeout, 241 to play, 76 39 Providence. From Nelligan Sports, this is Providence Friar Basketball.
Providence well in hand of things at 76-39 over Colgate. And Joe, since Colgate started the game by hitting four of their first five three-pointers, they've missed 15 straight. Wow, and they're decent shooters, so the Friar defense has got to be pretty good. I mean, we mentioned so often in the ball game, the last three Friar opponents are six for 60 from three-point land, and the Friars just clamped down in the second half yet, but this Colgate team shoot 38% from three-point land this year, so they're not bad shooters. They're but just tonight, having a tough night. Tonight, Colgate overall four for 20. That's 20%. The Friars defensively, that's, that's the motto. Take away the three. Make them take tough twos. Providence number one in the Big East in three-point field goal defense, holding opponents to 21% from three-point range on the season. Colgate with the ball. Newsom against that 2-3 zone. Has it in the center. Kicks it off left. Tipped away by Fortune, but picked up by Rowe Who on, else? The, on the wing. It's like he's got eight-foot arms. Now Rowe, top of the key. Passes off left side for Newsom. Back to Rowe again. Penetrates right. Hands it off there for McMullen. McMullen right side down on the baseline left for Graham. Graham goes cross court for Newsom. Can't get the three off. Penetrates baseline. Loses it out of bounds off of Newsom. And a turnover. Good defense by the Friars. On that top of the key there, you got Dunn and Fortune with the long arms, quick feet. And on the wings, Bancroft did a good job with uh, Siddiqui Johnson and Goldsboro. 17th turnover for Colgate. They've got 17 field goals in the game as well. Yikes. Dunn will walk it right to left into the forecourt as we approach the two-minute mark to play. Right side for Goldsboro, stops on the wing, looks for the post, not there. Back out for Dunn. Dunn wants a clear through. Now screen set by Siddiqui, pass off right side. Bancroft open, look at three, got it! Good pass here by Dunn, sets up Bancroft nicely. He drew the defense, and then Bancroft had to just square those shoulders and knocks it down. Ted Bancroft gets his first basket of the game of the Friars, lead by 40. Right wing corner, James for three, no. Rebound, Tip McMullen. Back on the left corner on the offensive glass. Outside now for Alex Ramon, a freshman from Spain. Jumper up, jumper good from the left sink for Newsom. That's a three-pointer. So after missing 16 in a row, they finally get another three to go down. As Johnson spins in the post, misses it. Goldsboro offensive glass out to Fortune for three. That's too strong. Goldsboro again on the offensive glass. Back out for Fortune. Good job by Goldsboro. He's been tough on the offensive glass all night. Dunn slides top of the key, keeps the dribble going. Bounce pass to the free throw line to Johnson. Dumps it off to Bancroft, who loses it, and is picked up there by Ramon. Well, that pass was just a little bit too quick to him. He waited one more second, Sadiq. He had him wide open. Left corner, three-pointer. Good again by Brandon James. So two in a row hit by Colgate. And they're going to call a quick timeout to allow for some substitutions here with 55 seconds left. That Cooley's still coaching out there. As a matter of Lee Goldsboro giving up the three-pointer right there. He doesn't want that to happen. He doesn't want to get any bad habits no matter what the score is. Jared Asatura, 5'11", senior walk-on, checks in for Colgate. So with 50 seconds left, 79-45 the score. As Dunn has the ball in the forecourt. About 19 seconds difference between the clocks here. Dunn controls well out on the perimeter. High screen set by Johnson. Rolls to the left of that, now cuts back to the right, spins in the lane, throws up the floater short. Rebound Johnson, comes down with it, goes back up with it, a little bit short, gets his own rebound again, and finally gets hacked in the act. Good job by Johnson. When he carves out some space, he's going to get the rebound. He just has to do a better job of finishing. He's had some opportunities in there, working hard to get the rebound, but isn't able to finish it off. I guess nice, that'll nice, probably come with sea legs. Yeah, right? that'll come with you. I mean, he looks a little winded out there. Done. Made a nice move right there as the first free throw by Johnson is missed. Dunn makes a nice move there, nice spin move, gets into the lane. You know, he's a very difficult guy to pressure with the ball. He just drives you off and then backs it out, but he gets into the lane nicely. A little floater just missed the, missed the shot. Siddiqui 0 for 3 at the free throw line. Sets, lets it fly. It's good. Lane violation called on Goldsboro, so it's going to rub it out. That should never happen. Ever. That's just getting a little lazy, frankly, with 20 seconds left. Into the forecourt left for Johnson. Johnson back on to Ramon. They can take the final shot if they want to. A 34-point game. On the right side, Asatura drives right, throws up the floater at the rim, won't get it. Johnson gets the rebound for the Friars with 10 seconds left. He'll give it off to Dunn, and Ed Cooley calls the dogs off. And Providence is going to start the second semester with a resounding home win over the Colgate Raiders, 79-45. Well, great job by the Friars at the tough start right there as uh, Colgate hit the first five, four to five three-pointers and the Friars turned it up 
Had some good quickness, got done in the ball game, got Johnson in the game, had a nice rotation on the uh, substitution, got a little press going. So you can see the athletic ability now that Eddie has with the two extra bodies out there. Our Cox Sports postgame wrap-up show is coming up next. From Nelligan Sports, this is Providence Friar Basketball.